19, 2020. The Captain's Law, start date 11, 18, 2020. The crew of the Utah DPS helicopter traveled to southern Utah on a mission to count bighorned life forms with wildlife officers. And uh, he's like, whoa, 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 turn around, turn around. And I was like, what? And he's like, there's this thing, there's this thing back there. We got to go look at it. The crew had spotted an object of unknown origin on the red surface. Okay, the intrepid explorers go down to investigate the uh, alien life form. In the middle of the barren desert <laughs> stood a mysterious metal monolith. I would say it's... Uh-uh. Uh-uh. <clears throat> John McCracken, artist, does this stuff all the time. Fucking, even the news is like in your face full of shit. It's probably between 10 and 12 feet high. This is wild. We are kind of joking around that if one of us suddenly disappears, then uh, I guess the rest of us make a run for it, so. Pilot Brett Hutchins <laughs> says it didn't look like it was dropped there. It was firmly planted into the ground. We're like thinking, okay, is this something like NASA stuck up there or something, you know, are they bouncing satellites off it or something? It seemed less scientific and more artistic. I'm assuming it is, you know, some new wave artist or something, you know, or somebody that just is a big uh, 2001 Space Odyssey fan. The similarity to the space movie was unmistakable, as was the bizarre effect it had on observers. It just cause it was kind of unusual stuff. The universe is filled with the unexplained, and this journey to southern Utah only raised more questions. As the crew headed home, they only wished they had the answers. Yeah, we've never, that, I have to admit, that, that's been about the strangest thing that I've come across out there in all the years of flying. Yeah. Fucking idiots. Uh, the advancements we've made in early detection and diagnostic imaging would have been unimaginable, unimaginable. 20 years ago. But then and now, 